Hello. Is it we you're looking for? It's not we, is it? It's P. Me. Um, how are you? Welcome to the uh, Lower Parkstone Broadcasting Corporation live from my lovely uh, studio, Juan, which is where I speak my Spanish. Hello, everybody, in it. Um, how are you? How is your day? Mine is okay. Uh, lots of admin today, so uh, working from home. Whenever I say admin, that means I'm I'm either I've either got a little bit of football stuff to do. In fact, I've got a football meeting tonight on Zoom with the old AFC Bournemouth, um, and uh, or it means I'm sorting out admin for setting up the new business or I'm putting a quote together or I'm looking for prices for bits that I need for jobs I'm doing blah 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 or in my case today I'm uh, I don't know you can see that I'm looking at cordless drills <laughs> not half um, so um, yeah so really that's uh, that's been my day uh, not much not much else has really been happening, actually, has it? News-wise, it's quite quiet today. Uh, Victoria Derbyshire's mum has been inoculated, vaccinated, whatever you call it. I listen to LBC, so I listen to Victoria Derbyshire most days. So she was, she was very emotional today because her mum's had her first uh, vaccination, which was uh, I kind of, um, I kind of empathised with that because of Auntie Brent having hers, her first jab. Um, it's quite, uh, you know, regardless of, the, of your opinions of, of, you know, lockdown and, and vaccinations and what have you, it's, it's quite a historic day and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really nice that you can sort of, you know, rest easy, as they say. Um, so, yeah, so that's really been my day so far, not much else. Um, tomorrow, of course, is the, the big inauguration. Uh, Joe Biden, woohoo! Joe Biden, woohoo! It takes over tomorrow. Um, we'll see how that develops, whether there is any trouble or, or whatever. Um, I did see something funny on, on Twitter earlier. It said, uh, "Being as it's Donald Trump's last day tomorrow." Um, is he allowed to take games in <laughs> you know, like you do at school, <laughs> which amused me. He's probably not even now. I think he's probably at Mar-a-Lago or wherever his golf place is or whatever. Anyway, anywho, but it does bring me on to an important point. And I, I assure you, this is not a political point. Um, I, it's about who we are and who we are to other people. I know that Donald Trump has polarised people in, in the US and actually he's polarised people around the world. Um, I've never shirked away from the fact that I cannot stand the guy. I, he stands against everything that I stand for. I loathe what he stands for, frankly. However, some people love what he stands for and that is absolutely fine. We should, as I've said to you before, it's really important to be yourself. Um, but equally, I think it's really important to, that if you are slightly left field or, you know, you go out on a, on a limb and shoot from the hip, as they say, which is very often a term used to, oh, I just, you know, I just, myself, I just say what I see. You know, sometimes, as I've said to you before, you know, words have consequences. Now, I always loved listening to um, Barack Obama um, and I very much like listening to Joe Biden when he's making a speech. Now, whether it's all words and rhetoric and it makes any difference, I don't know. Um, but the point I'm making here is that, and I direct this particularly at those of you that are coaching, is that you do not gain people's respect by bullying tactics or by shouty tactics 
or by um, demeaning people, i.e. putting them down. Um, there are times when we've all got to raise our voice. There are times when we all have to put our foot down and say, you know, enough is enough on that. You know, we've got to deal with it now. But generally speaking, you will not gain people's respect by being um, overly shouty or overly um, rude to people. Or All you would do is you will instill fear in people. Instilling fear in people so that they do what you say or do what you ask is completely and utterly different to people respecting you and then doing what you ask or, you know, they are two completely different things. Um, and no reason for me saying that today, it did just occur to me that, and it sounds like I'm preaching and I'm not, um, that you have to, it's the old adage, you have to earn respect. You, you aren't just giving it, it's not just a given. Um, I haven't learned that yet. Um, nobody respects me, however, you know, I'm a coach, why would they? But it is really important, how you treat people is how they perceive you and how they respond to you. Um, it is nothing to do with your technical knowledge or your your shoutiness, I use that word again, it's really important that to gain people's respect and um, to enable people enable you to help other people they have to respect you and as a consequence trust what you are saying even though i go back to what i said the other day it is really important that you get things wrong at times for all of us anyway sounds like i was preaching from the pulpit i'm not i just thought it was a really good indication of how i like to live my life and like i say i've got no issue with people who are donald trump fans it's entirely up to you i get accused of um and it's partly because of the spheres that i i'm mixing uh and because i'm you know a bit of a lefty um i get accused of being woke um and actually i wear that as a badge of honor um it's a really easy um insult to hand out of people oh you're woke lefty you're a liberal you're you're all you know i i would i'm proud of the fact that i'm woke because it means that i have consideration for other people i have understanding of other people and i have no discrimination for other people um so be yourself don't worry what other people think and um, and that will get you a long way in life. But I say, the important thing, respect other people, they will respect you. I realise I've witted on for ages and ages now, and you're thinking, just, I'm not interested, I'm going to fast forward through this bit, because I just want to hear those superb gags at the end. Here they come. Uh, why did the, uh, this goes back to things that we've been discussing over the last week, discussing, I should say. Uh, why did the dinosaur cross the road? I can tell you, it is because the chicken hadn't yet evolved. <laughs> We're going to go back to the chicken argument, aren't we? Um, that's a bit of a silly joke because, you know, why would dinosaurs have needed roads? They couldn't drive. Um, even the Tyrannosaurus, you know, we've gone about the Tyrannosaurus and his little arms couldn't pick his nose, scratch his bum. Uh, yeah, so uh, there we go. So I said to myself earlier, do you think it's odd that people talk to themselves? And I said, no. <laughs> I have to wear that one out. Anyway, um, that's enough. That is a long lecture today, isn't it? But remember, respect. Earn it. It's not yours by right. Be safe. I'm going to go back looking at circular saws. <laughs>